The word for today is, let it go. This is part three of a four part talk on the topic which we are covering about letting go of offenses, bitterness, and the disappointments of life. And we're highlighting God's teaching on the benefits of forgiving ourselves and also forgiving others. And here's our focus for today. Let go of what you have done to others. The wounds we have inflicted on others can weigh us down a ton. I mean, the drunk driving accident, the family that shattered by divorce, the child abused in anger, the abortion following an affair. We can't wound others and remain whole ourselves. So the ghost of failure's past just haunts us. It fills our nights with remorse. It steals our peace of mind. So how do I live with the things that I've done? Enter Saul of Tarsus, a man with a record. And he writes in Galatians 1 and 13, I violently persecuted God's church. I did my best to destroy it. I mean, he had torn believers from their families, leaving traumatized children, watching their parents uh, being carried away for floggings and imprisonment and even death. Now, Paul's a convert to Christianity. He's a preacher of the gospel. So he's meeting up with widows and orphans in the churches that he wants persecuted. Well, how do you handle a situation like that? A crucial decision faced him. He could shoulder the guilt until it broke him down or drowned him in depression or maybe moved him toward addiction or even suicidal thoughts. Or he could roll it onto shoulders big enough to carry his regrets and he could walk away free. Commiserating over his failures, Paul says in Romans 7 and verse 24, what a wretched man I am. Who will rescue me from this body of death? Well, the answer follows instantly. He says, thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord. And the result? He tells Timothy, his young disciple in the Lord, in, in 1 Timothy 1.13, even though I was a persecutor and a violent man, I was shown mercy. And that same mercy is yours for the taking today. Make amends where possible. Trust God to heal the hurt you've caused and let it go. Make your peace with God first, then allow him to help you tie up the loose ends as you move forward with your life in him. Join me in prayer. God, I thank you. You're the God of second chances. I thank you, God, that you work in our lives and you can help us, God, with things that just torment us. So God, do your work. Do your work in our lives. Touch the lives of people who are watching this right now, people who are struggling. Meet them right where they are right now and do a fresh work in them. Help them to let it go. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.